feel very happy for the women because uh, I can see more confidence. And um, confidence in the sense that they have learned uh, new uh, skills and they feel happy that they could do it. When we started the uh, process initially, it was a very uphill task. But seeing it come here with this uh, kind of a setup, it's actually a very satisfied feeling and also a feeling of accomplishment. I'm contented, excited, and satisfied. This was a very interesting idea, and uh, the entire idea talked about empowerment. So it was a sense of pride and at the same time a sense of humility that they had chosen us as a label that could do, make a difference. We didn't really know what we could do in the beginning, but today when we look at it, we, we feel really proud of being part of the journey. A journey that started almost eight months back. A journey that took us to four very special clusters of our country. A journey that brought out the very best in these women. started in four clusters in West Bengal, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Puducherry with four designers and the designers have given us a design, the designers have helped us train these women on finishing, stitching, cutting and other uh, important factors for production and these women have helped create uh, these fashion lines which are now going to be selling in Ogaan. This season, we have been following the story of the Usha Silai label, and today the journey has reached its culmination. With the much awaited retail launch for the design line. A synergic collaboration that aims to provide a strong market linkage. I just want to congratulate Usha. I think they're doing such a fabulous job of, of uh, bringing you know this collaboration with uh, the with these with fresh design designers, this younger lot, and they're working in the villages uh, and teaching the women to sew. And uh, I think this is the only way forward. And I hope uh, this project goes from strength to strength. I'm feeling great because I believe in the cause. I think that uh, you know it's just we talk about. Uh, uh, you know, sustainability, we talk about uh, giving employment to the, you know, to the, or, and giving recognition to the people who are actually producing, uh, doing all the hard work and, uh, and producing all these beautiful uh, garments in this case. So, I think to bring the, the whole community together, the design, designers, the, the people who are actually making them, you know, bringing them out, giving them recognition, I think it's, it's wonderful. It gives them a lot of encouragement. And I think Usha has been working uh, on this project for a whole year. And it's, uh, it's, it's a great project. And I'm very excited to be uh, that Ogan has launched this collection. I am myself very surprised and love the collections. Well, the thing is that we are trying to focus on creating a high level of skill in rural India, uh, not just taking people to market, but also taking people to market in a high level fashion brand, which means the skill levels that are required are quite high. And then we picked Ugan because I think, uh, or they picked us, shall we say, uh, which is a great thing because it's one of the most premium fashion destinations. Therefore, it shows what our women can do to be able to sell it a place like that. So therefore we went with uh...
excited that this amazing collaboration between Usha and IMG is launching at Ogan. Um, I didn't know that Usha runs 16,000 Silai centers all over the country. Um, and this is the first time that they've invited four designers and all designers that we already stocked and worked with um, to produce their collections at these centers. So I think it's a very exciting collaboration. I love the designs. Each piece is so uh, ideal for this current uh, time, the weather, to be able to wear it either in the day for a lunch, afternoon, and you may not ever get rid of it because such a piece can even go in as a daily wear for your wardrobe. So I really like everything which the designers and, and the Usha Silai group have put together with the aid of IMG. So I'm getting this one. I even like the bottom actually. So I'm, I've been worn trousers all my life. I love the Indian clothes. This unique collaboration between Usha and local designers created a fashion line which was appreciated by the fashion industry as well. This appreciation is not restricted to the clothes, but truly extends to the core thought behind the initiative. The heightened purpose of creating rural entrepreneurs and encouraged craftsmanship. Well, just to begin with, uh, I think sustainable fashion is, is here to stay. Uh, it started in the 80s with companies like Pantagonia and Esprit. Um, and now finally seeing the day of the light, this is this is the anti-trend of what happens in the world today. While the world is looking for, at fast fashion, we're looking at slow fashion, which means buy something that's conscious, conscientious, keep it with you, pass it on, and enjoy it. Uh, design that I've seen today is uh, representative of the skill and the craftsmanship of the area that the designer belongs to. I think it's a brilliant initiative. It can go further because it's just the beginning. And I think it is very important to empower women uh, to make them self-reliant. Uh, they have the ability, just training them, which the designers and Usha, the organization has taken the initiative to do, empowers them. I really believe that it, we must do a lot more uh, with the small-scale industry, with the decentralized uh, industries, and work with smaller groups everywhere because it is actually a very good area for employment. And I don't believe in mass manufacturing. associated with Usha Silai uh, label for a very noble cause. I believe we've done justice and I believe women have done justice to the efforts that they've put in to all our efforts. Please support the cause and come forward and help them grow. I mean, I have great respect for them, you know, it's, it's not easy to achieve this quality in this short period of time. So what I would like to really, you know, convey is the, the strength they have. And if that, you know, that is uh, appreciated, then I'm sure the boost will be there and they will be motivated. And this is, this is a concept, this is an idea, which can, you know, this can go forward and inspire many. clothes uh, for fashion the idea is that it ultimately you know reaches retail because that's when the women get back what uh, they put in all the hard work for so uh, the idea has always been that it comes to 
the customer and that they respond to it and so for me it's it's the beginning of a new journey in the sense that this is what reflects how we're going to probably look at the whole process again you know if say we were going to start it again கிராமத்திலிருந்து வந்து ஒரு டெல்லியில் ஒரு ஃபேமஸான ஒரு ஓகன் மாதிரி ஒரு ஷோரூமில் எங்களோட நாங்கள் தைச்ச ட்ரெஸ்ஸும் டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணியிருக்காங்கிறது இல்லை ப்ரௌடாக இருக்கும் ஏதோ சில எங்களுக்கு தெரியாத சில டிசைன்ஸை சொல்லித்தருவாங்க இது வரைக்கும் நமக்கு பழக்கமில்லாத ஏதாவது பல ஏதாவது வெரைட்டி தெரிஞ்சிக்கலாம் அப்படின்ற எண்ணத்தில் தான் அந்த கிளாஸ்க்கு வந்தோம் ஆனால் இந்த அளவுக்கு ஒரு டிசைனர் வச்சு ஒரு இது வரைக்கும் எங்களுக்கு பழக்கமில்லாத ஒரு புது புது வித்தியாசமான டிசைன்கள் எல்லாம் உருவாக்கி அது ஒரு நல்ல இந்த அளவுக்கு ப்ரைஸ் டேக்கோடு எங்களோட ட்ரெஸ்ஸு ஒரு ஷோரூமுக்கு வரும்னு எதிர்பார்க்கல நமக்குன்னு ஒரு சேவிங்ஸ் எங்கேயும் போய் வெளியில் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்டுக்கு வாங்காமல் எங்களோட சொந்த செலவுகளை ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஃபுல் ஒரு திருப்தியான இதோட எங்களோட சொந்த செலவுகளை எங்களால் பார்த்துக்க முடியுது ஒரு பர்சனலாக ஒரு சேவிங்ஸும் எங்களுக்குன்னு வச்சுக்க முடியுது பேங்க் பேலன்ஸ் ஓரளவுக்கு மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுற அளவுக்கு எங்களோட ஃபேமிலி செட்டப் மாறி இருக்குது சோஷியல் செட்டப் ஏன் முன்னாடி கொடுத்த ஃபினிஷிங்கோட நல்ல ஃபினிஷிங் கொடுக்குறான்னு சொல்லிட்டு கஸ்டமர்ஸ் அதிகமாக இருக்காங்க சந்தோஷமாக இருக்குது சார் நாங்கள் ஏதோ ஒரு கிராமத்துலேருந்து வந்து தைச்சது நம்மளோட தலைநகரம் டெல்லியில் வச்சுருக்கிறது ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாகவும் பெருமையாகவும் இருக்குது கொஞ்சம் டவுட்டு ஏன்னா அந்தளவுக்கு நாங்கள் பண்ணதில்லை இது வரைக்கும் ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் அந்த மாதிரி பண்ணும்போது கொஞ்சம் பயமாக தான் இருந்துச்சு இப்போது முன்ன விட பெட்டராக பண்ணலான்ற நம்பிக்கை இருக்குது சார் सब हमारे कपड़ों को देख रहे हैं तो हमारे लिए बहुत गर्व की बात है ये सबको पता है अलग पहचान बन गई आज हमारी जब पहले इतना नहीं जानते थे हमको तो अभी यहाँ आने से पहचान बन गई और परिवार वालों को भी सम्मान मिला है उनको भी कि देखो इनकी बहू वहाँ जाके ऐसे ऊषा कंपनी का मैं बहुत मतलब मन से शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहती हूँ कि उन्होंने हमारा इतना साथ दिया Right now we started with four clusters. We're working with IMG and we're reaching it at Ogan. But we would definitely want to go to other clusters in other states. So possibly we may look at the northeast uh, states. We will look at Kashmir. We will go down south uh, to the southern states, Andhra, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, but it'll be a slow process. We've just started. We'll definitely work with designers because we're picking designers from the regions. So right now we pick designers from, let's say, West Bengal. So if you go down south, we'll pick somebody from Tamil Nadu, or if you go to Kashmir, we'll, we'll pick a Kashmiri design. The other plan is the same thing that we've done. We'd like to expand into different states. We would like to do Kashmir, we'd like to do Goa, we'd like to do Northeast. So eventually, you can actually have a different uh, uh, label, I mean, a different fashion for every state in this country that is celebrating what that state is about. And the women in these villages, they know these patterns, they know all this because they're, they're, they're there. So, That's how you build that authentic image. And we carry on growing like this. As one chapter ends, another continues. The bigger goal of training as many women as possible and to continue the efforts towards self-employment. The Usha Silai School continues to build new collaborations and create impact at the grassroots level.
Join us as we continue bringing your way stories of hope and empowerment.